darkness has fallen on earth. There's a great tribulation coming. There's a fervor right now. We put our faith in men. Should we? This anger, this hatred, this gross populism. I don't think we've ever seen America or the world in this state. And darkness is here. Darkness in America and darkness worldwide. And a great tribulation is coming. A purging of man's sin. A man's hate. Evil. Detestable, sinful nature. Fire. A great fire. Should we put our faith in men? As our leaders, as our truth sayers, as the people that lead? This fervor that we see on the ground in America today right first left republican first democrat hate and hate but where's the answer where's the truth where's the light we live in a fallen world if you open your eyes you can see the good and you can see the darkness. I talked about this incessantly in recent weeks, how never before have I seen such darkness, such evil in men. Such anger. Such hatred. Such vitriol. Such rage. Save us. We approach a time of man that's existed before. Nations rise and they fall. People put their faith in men and they fall. And some that appear to be the true sayers, the people that are real, that you can trust, aren't. They're the deceivers. They come with a cloth of white, but are really shrouded in darkness. A great fire, a purging of man, of sin, truth. FIRE! Brimstone. Anger. In so much light, it's brighter than the sun. The man will prostrate himself and feel the wrath of the truth. There's no atheist in the foxhole, folks. Deep down, we all know the truth. We all know what's coming. The rise and fall of nations. Cyclical in its nature because it's happened before. And it's purged. And it's been purged before. Because man is weak. Man has fallen. Man is sinful. Has it fallen so far into the pit of darkness that the only thing that can be done is to reboot and refresh? Putting our belief system in false idols and false God. 
technology really has become our new God. Our cell phone in our pocket we've merged with. People think that's God. They think that's the answer. They take the mark. Those that take the mark will not be saved. It'll be difficult not to take it. You'll lose access to basic life necessities, things that you need. It'll be a priority to take the mark. You won't be able to get health care, government service. You won't be taken care of unless you take it. Unless you're chipped. Unless you succumb to the beast. Strange things are happening, not just in America, but worldwide. The selection for the 2016 presidential election, which is just political theater and a dog and pony show, has been made. And they, the person that they've selected wants war. You look at Syria with over 500,000 people slaughtered at the hands of a false god, at the hands of a great deceiver. And we see the signs. Satan literally means Lord of the flies. Zzz. But most of us are not spiritually awake. We don't see the signs. We are spiritually dead. We don't see the chariot of that light coming, riding from the clouds. A separation, an intentional separation of man. To be without God is our own self-created living hell. I told you it'd be difficult not to take the mark. The machine, the technology, the false idol. People worship it. And they put their faith in men. And nations rise and fall. So much darkness, so much evil. How much time do we have? Have you washed away your sin? Have you purged? Have you asked for forgiveness? And have you put in your faith in the real truth? Great fire is coming. Tribulation. A war. Death. Suffering. Hell on earth. And these men and women push us to the edge of this cliff. Engineer these events around the world, these biblical events. And we live it and people can't see. America's already fallen. We are Rome. Most can't even see that. We have debates on Things like we saw just a few days ago that are absolutely meaningless in the grand scheme. People, again, putting their faith in men. Fervor. The new God. The false hope. 
They say he will be Christ-like. He will be a deceiver. He might not be man in the flesh. It could be the machine, the merger of man in that machine. He will appear to save. He will appear to have the answers. And the spiritual battle will ensue. All of us just a dot, a speck of sand. And we think we're important. <laughs> We think our life has so much meaning, but it's so much bigger than us. And we are so connected to everything and everyone around us. But again, people are spiritually blind. They do not see the truth. So much mass death around the world today, and we live in our cocoon, isolated from the chaos that we breed. And few speak out. Few speak up. Few face the fire. The truth and the light will prevail. Goodness will win. but a great cost and great consequence to man. There will be darkness, there will be war, there will be suffering, there will be death and a cleansing. A turn of events. This year.